Hey, what's going on, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So today, I wanted to take a look at this enable, disable PS5 update payload, kind of compared to just adding in the DNS server settings. Now, this payload basically does the same sort of things that we were doing really back in the PlayStation 4 days. Basically what it does is it comes in here and it creates a number of different folders. So it creates a ps 5 updatepupptemp folder. And then it also does a, another one which is for the ps 5 updatepup Pup. Now, there's also this end user license agreement, and those are really the two folders that is being created right here. You can see this with this MKDIR in here, and this other one with an MKDIR. So if you run it once, it, then it creates these folders. If you run it a second time, basically it just removes these folders or directories. So I want to go ahead and give this payload a shot over on my PlayStation 5 and let's see what is the best thing to do. Is it to use a payload just like this or is it to simply use DNS settings? So let's go figure it out. Okay, so the very first test that I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to send over that payload that will disable updates. So let's just go ahead and let's do that now. Okay, blocker enabled. Relaunch the payload to basically turn it back off again. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and let's send the FTP one. That way we can come in here and we can take a look at the files and the folders that was created. Okay, let's go ahead and let's switch back over to Windows and let's take a look. Okay, so I've got my IP address for my PlayStation 5 and we were on port 1337. So we'll do a quick connect here and let's go down into the update folder. So it's basically just a folder that is named ps5update.pup as well as ps5update.pup.temp. So what I think would be interesting now is, is let's just go ahead and let's rerun the payload and let's see if that removes it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to inject that payload again. Okay, and now at this point, I believe those files will be removed. So let's go ahead and check it. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do a refresh right here. And now underneath update, there is nothing in that. So I believe the next test would be to come back in and rerun that payload and then reboot the system to see if it is still there. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and send that payload again. And I can confirm that the ps 5 updatepup as well as the ps 5 updatepup.temp is back in that directory. So now let's go ahead and let's take this PS5 and let's restart it. Okay, and since I was running the persistent FTP, it does crash whenever you shut down or try to restart the PS5. So here we are, we're back in to the PlayStation 5 and we're going to go ahead and run the exploit again. Okay, and so now I'm just going to inject the FTP. That way we can see if those files and folders are still there. And as you can see, these folders were there prior to rebooting the PlayStation 5. So now I'm going to do a refresh here. And it doesn't surprise me because the PlayStation 5 clears those out every single time. So they learn from a lot of their mistakes on the PlayStation 4. So if you're using that payload, it's only going to protect you for that single instance that you're running it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run that payload again. And now we're going to refresh. And there those files are. Now let's take the PlayStation 5 and let's go into rest mode and then come back out of rest mode. And let's see if we're still protected from that point. Power and then we're going to go enter rest mode. Okay, so now we have entered rest mode. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resume. 
Okay, so here we are. I'm going to hit the refresh button here and those files are still in there. I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to test without having a DNS how well that is actually blocking updates. So let's take our DNS and let's switch this back to automatic and let's press OK here. And now at this point, once it finishes up, our system does have full access to PlayStation. So if we come back in here and we go to system, system, system software and updates, you can already see right here, it says update system software. And it did find that there is an update that's available. Now we have those dummy folders in there. So let's see what happens. So we'll go ahead and we'll press X on this. And we are going to update using the internet. And that is kind of scary. It says your PS5 system software will be updated. Your PS5 will restart and start the update. So let's go to view details. And that is for 6.02. Okay. And so from this point, I'll just go ahead and I'll press update here. System software added to downloads, uploads, and then just something went wrong. And so it is blocking updates for this session. Now, again, once you reboot your PlayStation 5, all of this goes away. And if you didn't have your DNS settings in there, well, then this would continue to install. And let's go back and let's rerun the exploit. And we will rerun the FTP. Okay, so there is the FTP. And then over on our PS5, well, those folders are still in there. Okay, and so I wanted to try this inside of a game. So I went and I picked up NBA 2K22 right here. So this one typically gives a prompt whenever you try to play it if you're not on the latest version. So again, I don't have any DNS settings or anything in there. So let's see how this works we are instantly greeted with the update the system software to use all features of this app game or app and we're going to press update now and we're back to that same screen that we were on saying the system software update will be updated so we'll hit update again here and there it goes so you would have a layer of protection if you did just use that payload. But again, it's not going to help you if you reboot. All right. Thank you so very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.